Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad and need. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus Your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honors lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the great I am, the one and only risen king. In him I hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. Today I want to share this message. It's important, beloved, because I've heard it several times through comment section that some people they will say why the messages that they are hearing from narrow gate channel they do not hear from other channels i touched in one of the videos beloved that our calling is different and we have to understand that so i am going to encourage you through the word of god that is why we can only seek confirmation from the Lord, not from individuals. The word of God is powerful, beloved. And you will see through the word of God that this is not the first time. I'm going to share the word of God from the book of Numbers chapter 12. I will read from verse 1. The word of God says, And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Hath he not spoken also by us? And the Lord had it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly. And wherein we have sinned, let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days. And after that, let her be received in again. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days. And the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward, the people removed from Hezareth 
and pitched in the wilderness of Paran. That's the word of God, beloved. The word of God is powerful. So we can see there in Numbers chapter 12 that Miriam and Aaron, the word of God says, they spake against Moses because he married an Ethiopian woman. So they were saying that is the Lord only speaking to Moses and not us? And you can see that is why our father is against us judging one another. The word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. It has consequences. And we can see clearly, beloved, that Miriam suffered the consequences. Aaron had to go to Moses to beg him to say, please plead our case to the Lord. Our calling is different, beloved. So the fact that Moses married an Ethiopian woman, it means God cannot speak to him. And I want us to pay attention to verse 6, what the Lord said after he called them in. Three of them into the tabernacle. In verse 6, he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth. Praise the name of the Lord. So he was telling them that if there is a prophet, I myself, God, I will let myself known unto that prophet in visions, in dreams. But when it comes to Moses, it is different. I will speak to him mouth to mouth. I will not speak to him in dark speeches. So who are you to come against my servant Moses? They suffered the consequences of going against the servant of God. The word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. They suffered the consequences of going against, speaking against the anointed of God. So if God decided to speak to Moses mouth to mouth, so what? He is God. He did not need their permission. The word of God says the anger of God was kindled. He was not happy with what Aaron and Miriam did. Going against his servant Moses. And Miriam suffered the consequences, beloved. There are consequences to sin. And this is what believers today, beloved, they forget. Even during grace, we suffer the consequences of sinning. So if you are going against the anointed of God, you will suffer the consequences of your sins. God struck her with leprosy and she was separated for seven days so the entire congregation of the children of israel they got to know what miriam did because she was separated because that is what sin does it separates us from god so we have to be careful beloved our calling is different you cannot say that because this was said in Narrowgate Channel, it should be said everywhere else. If God decides that he wants everyone to share it, it will happen. But if he doesn't, he doesn't. It is your duty as a child of God to go on your knees and seek him for confirmation. But if you just stand and criticize, remember what happened to Aaron and Miriam, the anger of God was kindled. And Miriam, she did not go scot-free. She suffered for seven days, leprosy and separation. And I want to read verse um, 
11, what Aaron said to Moses. The word of God says, And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Aaron went to Moses and begged him, and he said, Let this sin not be upon us. And he acknowledged that we have done foolishly. We have sinned against the Lord. Even though they have acknowledged their sin, beloved, even though they have acknowledged that they were foolish, still they suffered the consequences of what they did. Their sin was not gone unpunished. For seven days, Miriam was separated from the congregation. And beloved, let us be careful of what we say. If we do not understand something, it is better to keep quiet. It is better to go and inquire from the one who knows it all. Sin has consequences. Let us not anger the Lord by the things that we say because we do not understand, because it was not revealed to you. Then you will say it is not true. Our calling is different. God has called us into different areas. Certain things he might reveal to other people, but certain things he might not. Even as we can see clearly, he said to Aaron and Miriam, he said, if there is a prophet, I will reveal myself to them in dreams and in vision. But with Moses, it is different. I speak to him mouth to mouth. He is God. There is no searching of his understanding. So if he is revealing certain things in narrow gate channel and in other channels, he is not revealing. It does not mean that he is not God. All we have to do is to seek him instead of running a risk of falling into sin and foolishness. Because we can see Aaron acknowledged that it's a sin before God and it is foolishness. Sin has consequences and many will cry. I have shared, beloved, that even those who are publicly going to announce that Narrowgate Channel is not from God, many, even men of God, they are declaring with their mouth, that I am not from the Lord. They will have to stand and declare again in front of everyone that they have lied to the children of, of God. They have misguided the children of God. Sin has consequences. They cannot just go in the closet and ask for mercy. The same way with um, Miriam. Even though Aaron went to Moses, and begged with him and say, let not this sin be upon us. But God made sure that the entire congregation gets to know what they did so that none of them will repeat it again. And that is the wisdom of God, beloved. If we can say and utter whatever we want against another person and get away with it, then everyone will do it. That's why you have to take a full responsibility of your action. And I have shared in one video as well, in Acts chapter 16, prison. he was beaten before the people. And now when they wanted to release them, they wanted to release them in secret. Paul refused. He said, no, they have beaten us openly. And when they release us, they must release us openly. Let everyone know that they have beaten us for nothing. Let everyone know that we are innocent. They cannot do it in secret. The same way that they have beaten us in front of everyone, let them release us the same way. Sin has 
consequences, beloved. Let us respect the work of God. If you do not understand what is happening, it is better for you to keep quiet. The word of God says the anger of God was kindled. They spoke against Moses, saying because he married an Ethiopian woman. And they said that, Lord, indeed spoken only by Moses, had he not spoken also by us? Because some people, they cannot take the messages because God did not speak to them. It is a sin before the Lord and it is foolishness. Praise the name of the Lord. So beloved, this message is really for those who are saying that why are we hearing these messages here only? Why so and so is not sharing this message? So we can hear what happened to Miriam and Aaron by them saying that God only speak by Moses. What about us? Sin has consequences, beloved. Let us not challenge the anointed of God. If you do not believe on what they're sharing, stay away. Lest the anger of God will be kindled against you. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.